Hello students, I'm going to teach you how to use the Adobe Illustrator and make some 3D objects. This is called Fruit Bowl. We've walked through it together, but um, in case you missed it or you'd want to do it better on it, um, this is the way to do it. Start with a file new in Illustrator. And very important for you to know that I'm using Illustrator CC 2015 and you're on CS 5.5. Um, but everything everything is the same in this tutorial, so don't worry about that. It looks a little different, but it is the same. Um, start with a new document, call it Fruit Bowl. Uh, make one artboard, and let's go 1024 by 768, and click OK. Here's the new blank document. The first thing you want to do is get your pen tool, shortcut key P, and take off your stroke, no stroke and choose a fill color. I'm going to go with yellow. I suggest you do the same. So with your pen tool and fill of yellow, stroke of none, I want you to click once and then click again and start to make one of those bezier curves. Just click and drag just a little bit. This is the lip of the bowl. Click and drag again. Click and drag again. A little more of a curve and then finally a little bit more of a curve and go back to the beginning. Now in CS 5.5 you don't have to go back to the beginning. You can end on this click right here. So we have the outside edge of the bowl created right here. The next thing you want to do is go to Effect, 3D, Revolve. And basically all you're doing is revolving <coughs> the image to a 3D object around the one edge. Um, please click More Options and then click preview so you can see what's going on and go ahead and move your bowl around so you can see inside the lip here very important okay very important see inside that lip next thing I want you to do, to do is grab the light and drag it down just a little bit so it's lit from the underside just a bit and click OK now you might not be happy with your bowl I'm not happy with mine that's not going to stand up straight because it looks like it's got a point at the bottom you can easily fix this by using your uh, direct selection tool, shortcut key A, and click away, and then move in. And notice you can only click the path that you just created. There's nothing over here. This is just the computer rendering the 3D object. So I'm going to take this path and I'm just going to pull it up, and I'm going to flatten out by pulling the handles. And I'm going to pull up just a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. Now my bowl's a little small. So if you go to shortcut key, key V for your move tool or your selection tool, just like in Photoshop, select the object and go over here and I want you to find the scale tool. It's right next to the rotate tool, scale tool, and just double click it and choose, we're going to scale it 300% ish, click OK. Now if it's too big, undo it and do it a little less percentage, whichever way you want to do it. Now just remember with Photoshop and Illustrator, you can hold down command and get your selection tool at any time. So I'm holding down command and I'm going to move my bowl right about here. And I kind of like it. So I'm going to hide it. Command number three will hide the object because we're ready to make some apples. To make some apples to put in the bowl you want to use your ellipse tool. It's underneath your rectangle tool. Just click and hold, get your ellipse tool. Again, no fill, no stroke. Very important, no stroke. And choose a fill of I don't know, let's go a puke green or something. And all I want you to do is draw sort of an oval shape, just like that. And then again, go back up to Effect, 3D, Revolve. This time, all I want you to do is click OK. Don't change anything. And it kind of looks like an apple. Now again, if you wanted to adjust the apple, the shape or whatever, you would click, oops, sorry about that. You'd click away and you'd use your A tool to select the path and you would just adjust these paths just a little bit. See how that changed the apple? Now I want you to make three apples so with your command key selected or press down you get the move tool. If you press and hold alt next to it and click and drag you should be able to make another one. So holding down command and alt at the same time click and drag and then change the color of the second apple and then do it again. Same thing. Command, Alt, click, drag, and you should have a third apple. And go ahead and change that color. Let's go with a uh, uh, funky red color. Okay, now they're all the same. It's kind of boring. So let's make some bigger than others. 
with our command key selected, we can select different ones. Hold down command and select, say, the second one. And go over here from your drop down on your control panel, oh, I'm sorry, over here to the uh, scale tool again. If you just double click the scale tool, we're going to scale it, this one, 82%. We're going to make it a little smaller. See how it got smaller? Now I'm going to command and click this one, and we're going to scale this one, double click on the scale tool, we're going to scale this one 93%. That was a little bit smaller. Okay, now with our Move tool selected, I'm going to want you to arrange these apples in a way that makes sense to you. They're going to fit inside the bowl here in a minute. Now you'll notice the big one needs to go in the front because it's bigger, it should be closer to the lens or to, to the viewer. Select an, an apple or an object that's not in the right order, it's behind it. And you can find this looking behind it if you look for your Layers panel and just open up your Layers panel. You can see the order here, but there's an easier way. You can Command Bracket Right or Bracket Left to bring forward or bring back any object that's selected. So I've hit Command Bracket Right Right and brought it forward. Now let's bring back the bowl. Command Alt Number 3 will show all. A minute ago we had it hidden. Now another thing I want you to do, I want you to lock the bowl so we don't accident, accidentally click and move the bowl. So select the bowl, you can only select within the area that it was made, and it's command number two. Now we can click all we want here, nothing's going to happen. We have locked it. Okay, now I want you to arrange your apples, kind of like they make sense here, three of them. Perfect. Now we're going to hold down shift and command and select all three apples and we're going to make them disappear, command number three, because we don't need to see them right now. We're going to draw a shape to clip those two. So we've made them disappear, command number three, and go ahead and get your oval tool again, but this time it's no fill, zero. And with no fill and no stroke, I want you to draw an oval, something like this. We're trying to match the hole in the bowl. And you can use command to pull it where you want it. Now notice it doesn't really fit. So you want to use your A tool again, your direct selection tool, or press A. Deselect and then press, click the line again. And now you can adjust the points on that line to match. And make sure the top goes really high and grab your handles and really wide because we don't want to clip away the top of our apples. So make something like this where the front matches. And then it's command alt number three to bring the apples back. Now the apples are all selected. All you have to do is hold down shift and find that uh, clear oval that we just adjusted for the clipping and click it. And then simply go to Object, Clipping Mask, Make. And it will clip the actual apples inside the invisible oval shape that we started with. Deselect and guess what? You are done. Now all you need to do is File, Export, I want you to export a JPEG for me. Um, you're going to get an export window in just a second. Uh, simply change the format here to JPEG and upload a JPEG. That's all I need you to do. Now if you want to save this document so you can edit it later, just simply do File, Save and let it be the Adobe Illustrator file it wants to be, the AI file that it chooses. Okay? Any questions, just uh, message me on Edmodo or raise your hand. Thanks a lot. See you soon.